Unusual activity, Pete. And I see you have three stocks uh, led by arguably the stock of the day. Yes. <laughs> you know I'm going to start with about. Coinbase, Scott. There That's, you go. Yeah, absolutely. It's already down 20 plus percent and they just continue. If you're looking for a bounce, at least the options community does not seem to think that there is one, Scott. They're buying 15,000 of Friday's expiring 55 strike call uh, puts rather when the stock was trading right around 55 and a half. So that gives you a little bit of an idea that there isn't anything positive yet to come that, that folks are expecting right now. Those puts were being bought for about $3.50. I know the stock is already moving to the downside even off of that. It's been as low as the 52-week lows today, around $52.5 and, uh, 52 and or something like that. So not great for Coinbase. Next, I got Lyft. Now, they also stumbled on their earnings, of course, last week or so. It, it plummeted. And it looks like somebody is looking for a little bit of a bounce, Scott. The stock was trading a little over 19. They were buying 5,400 of the May 27th expiring. So it gives you about two and a half weeks. The 20 strike calls paying about a dollar for those. Like I said, about 5,400 of those. Lastly, I've got one for you, Taiwan Semiconductor. Now, this one's pretty interesting as well. Trading around 90. We know the semis have been up and down and all around. 3,000 of the June 3rd expiring 98 calls, as well as the July 95 calls getting bought today. So trying to buy for that upside in Taiwan Semi as well.